So I've been trying to avoid this topic for quite a while, but today we're going to be reviewing a series called The Dumping Ground. Now I know I started on like, uh, I know I recorded a movie of me, I'm not so sure if I released or not, but today we're going to be with, we are going to be reviewing The Dumping Ground, but we're going to be doing it differently. We're not going to be doing it by uh, each episode, because that means I'm going to have to rewatch them. So you're kind of going to get something where I'm going to talk about them in bunch and talk about the main storyline. You may not get all information and I am sorry. It's just you're going to have to go and watch them for yourself. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing The Dumping Ground Season 1. But before then, here's the intro and we're actually going to talk about what The Dumping Ground is. So let's start off with this. If you know what the story of Trace of Beaker is, good. If you know the film, good. If you know what Trace of Beaker returns is, good. Because if you know all of that, you will know what the Dumping Ground's about. The Dumping Ground's about a bunch of kids that get put in care and after certain reasons, but they still, as they are kids, they're still trying to find out life and they're still trying to find out different things and solve problems and the care has been Mike and May Lee. And at the moment, it was going very well. The storyline is a bit of per. Um, I don't get excited as I would be, but um, it's a basically a bunch of kids. Uh, but the actors ranging from the kids and care actors are ranging from the young ages of I think uh, eight to the ages of at least twenty-one. So you may think the uh, characters Sasha may be a teenager in real life, but really she's in her twenties. Um, fun fact, she's been in The Force Awakens, believe it or not, which is fantastic and I found out a couple of days ago that she was in a Harry Potter film. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you've got a famous stuff. But anyway, that's what the dumping ground is. So, let's talk about season one in total. When season one came out of the dumping ground, I think I was about, about 12 or 13 at the time. So I've been watching this for a very long time. This all started, season one is all in a big care home. This care home is the care that we saw back in Trace People Return season one. And this will be the last season where we would see Gina, we would see Electra, we would see, we would see the big house, and also Gus also. He, he will leave in episode five. Why at the start of it, Mike goes on holiday. And Gina is left in charge, but unfortunately, as the new kid arrives, a bomb, a grenade is thrown outside and Gina's been taken to hospital, the grenade's been taken away by the army. So there, for the next two episodes, they are left uh, alone, they are, until Gina comes back to solve out all of the issues that has happened of when she's been away, and say that you can't tell Mike what's ever happened. And then moving on to actual episode 3, if you're wondering where Jodie is, well the reason why she hasn't been in episode 1 and 2 is that, well, at the moment she's living with her parents and her two brothers, but unfortunately things are not going too well after, well, the stuff that Jodie gives to the other care kids is that it was stolen, it was, so at the end of it, all the things I will turn back, Jodie is actually saved by well, let me think. Gina, Carmen, Tyler, um, Lily, T, Electra, and Gus. So basically, a lot of people trying to make sure that she's okay. And then she comes back into the dumping ground for a very, very, very long time. And um, and then after that, between that episode, moving on to episode five. Episode 5 is the last episode where we get to see Gus and he leaves, he does. He's been with us for a very long time. He did all of the seasons of Trace Beaker Returns, some survival files, and now this. He's gone. Bye bye. And then also some other stuff that does happen during the time that, um, that this whole thing is here. 
as of, for instance, relationship between Lily and her father, also some problems with her, with the new kid that I can't remember, and so, so much more. So how do I think season one actually went? So how do I think season one actually went? Well, I'm not gonna judge it too much, like when Stranger Things came around. Most people didn't know what that was, and they didn't know how to judge it. But now, when season two comes around, people want to go back and watch it. So season one is another introduction to what the dumping ground is. And if you want to know what it is, you might, you might as well watch this, because if you start on season five, four, they'll introduce their little ways, but they expect the viewers to know what is what. So season one gets a 10 out of 10. There may be things I don't like, but then again, I want to be real and honest of how I feel about it. It may be fake, but I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now, if you've ever wondered, hey, is there any fan um, channels about the dumping ground or any fan videos? Well, unfortunately, I don't see much of channels, but there are videos I will leave down below. And believe it or not, the dumping ground is not a big topic on the internet recently. Not that many people challenge to make content like this. So I hope many people do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Peace guys, see ya!